Hello, <coughs> good morning, students. So that you know, your syllabus is already over for class six standard science for your half yearly exam. So I'm going to discuss regarding the important diagrams for your coming half yearly exam. So we have already provided the important diagrams earlier so just this is the revision part regarding the diagrams means on which diagrams you will give more emphasis for your coming half yearly exam so from chapter one the diagram already we have practiced from the page number three from your ncrt book figure number 1.4 different edible parts of the plants and labelings that you know the labelings you can also do from your ncert book just i'm going to repeat again figure number 1.4 different edible parts of plants students our next important diagram is from chapter 5 separation of substances chapter 5 separation of substances the diagram is from the page number 35 figure number 5.2 the churning method butter is taken out by churning milk or card so this method you can also practice next from this chapter again page number 39 the diagram number or figure number is 5.8 separating two components of a mixture by sedimentation and decantation so figure number 5.8 separating two components of a mixture by sedimentation and decantation and another diagram from this chapter the very next page page number 40 and diagram number is 5.9 and 5.8 10 that folding a filter paper to make a cone and filtration using a filter paper students our next important diagram is from chapter number 7 getting to know plants so you know this is the new chapter for your half yearly syllabus after pre-med so you have to give much more emphasis on this chapter and the very next chapter chapter number 8 so from this chapter chapter 7 you have to practice the diagram along with the labelings of a leaf a complete leaf next you have to practice the diagram of leaf venations like reticulated leaf venation and parallel leaf venation and afterwards again you have to practice from this chapter the diagram of different types of root system or roots one is tap root and another one is fibrous root so you can practice these diagrams from your ncert book or whatever the diagrams we have provided from there also you can practice because you will get the labelings better on in those diagrams and another diagram from this chapter 7 that is different parts of a complete flower different parts of a complete flower and it's all the labelings means in the parts i've already mentioned so different parts of a complete flower Now students, this is the last chapter 8 body movements for your half yearly syllabus and from this chapter very important diagrams you have to draw that you have already got. So one will be from this chapter the different uh, means joints basically. So one by one you have to do the diagrams of the joints. So first you have to do the diagram of uh, pivot joint, then you will do the diagram of hinge joint, next you will do the gliding joint and afterwards you will do ball and socket joint. 
and one more important diagram here that is rib cage the diagram of rib cage that you also have to do and another one is backbone so these six diagrams are very much important from this chapter number eight body movement so these are the all diagrams you have to practice for your coming half yearly exam so up to these students today up to these students so thank you visit again